good morning everyone now the next topic that is number system as if you see your uh, next unit that is unit number 2 then in the starting uh, there is one topic that is number system and uh, after this topic uh, computer memory is given uh, the uh, topics uh, related to computer me memory is given and uh, i have told you about computer memory and all types of computer memory has been discussed with you people now uh, uh, after uh, after taking the session of number system we will start unit number 3 but before that i think uh, your midterm will be started so you just have a look of this number system as a number system means uh, one kind of numeral system and uh, you know, this kind of system is naming or representing with the help of numbers means uh, this is one kind of technique to represent and work with numbers as the name suggests uh, that number system works only with numbers okay so basically if we divide this number system then it is of two type the first one is positional number system and the second one is non positional number system so basically in case of non positional we don't work with numbers basically we use symbols okay but in case of positional number system uh we are having uh, again some paths uh, under it like uh, in positional number system we are having binary number system octal number system uh, then we are having decimal number system and hexadecimal number system so it is fixed that in case of positional number system there uh, there are only four number system uh, as i have mentioned and uh, this binary system is basically of two digit that is uh, zero and one in case of octal as octal suggests that there can be only eight digits okay that means the octal digit will start from 0 up to 7 and the addressing always will start from 0 and uh, in case of decimal as uh, decimal suggests that you can have only 10 uh, digits so if you are having 10 digits that mean it will start from 0 that means uh, it will uh, it will uh, position from 0 up to 9 then the next one is hexadecimal hexa means 6 and decimal means 10 that means uh, 6 plus 10 is 16 and if total 16 numbers you are having in case of hexadecimal that means uh, it will start from 0 and it will goes up to 15 so basically these are the positional number system and i have told you that non positional number system means that you can use symbols with an it now one by one we will discuss these number system like number systems are classified into two types the positional number system and the non positional number system so uh, if we talk about uh, the positional number system then uh, positional number system uses digits means numbers for the representation of these positional number system and these are further classified into four types as i have told you that is binary octal decimal and hexadecimal number system so uh, in today's session i'll tell you uh, or i'll give you the overview then uh, from the next session i'll tell you the examples like how to convert these number system into other types of number system so basically uh, from the next session um, uh, i'll solve these uh, questions from this number system topic so first of all positional number system and the first type of positional number system that is binary number system so as binary number system uh, in case of binary number system we are having the base 2 okay means if there is one digit and in the base it is written that is 2 that means this is one kind of binary number system and uh, this type of number system is having only two digits that is 0 and 1 okay so in case of binary number system only two digits are used that is only 0 and 1 means the example for this number system will be like 1 1 0 1 or the next type of number can be is uh, like 1 0 1 0 1 1 so these are some examples of binary number system then the next type of positional number system that is octal number system 
so octal number system as the name suggests that octal means 8 that means in case of this the base is 8 and uh, this is having uh, 8 digits from 0 up to 7 that means uh, the digits which uh, are under the these digits will uh, come into the example of it like uh, the example of this octal number system can be like 116 so in case of 116 all the digits are uh, the range of 116 is between 0 to 7 okay then you can have like uh, 6 6 1 this is again under the range of this 0 up to 7 now the next type of uh, number system that is decimal number system so decimal number system is a base uh, 10 number system and it is having 10 digits and uh, always uh, the first digit will start from 0 that means if you are saying uh, that 10 digits will uh, you have in case of decimal number system that means it will goes up to 9 okay then uh, the next type of uh, number system that is hexadecimal number system hexa means 6 and decimal means 10 that means total 6 number system or 16 digits you will have okay so having 16 digits from 0 up to f now the question arises like how you are saying that it will goes up to f and how and uh, this f represents to what so uh, like 0 up to 9 is represented similar to that of this decimal number system but the rest of the digits like from 10 to 15 will be represented from a to f means 10 will be represented with a then 11 will be represented with b uh, 12 will be represented with c 13 will be represented with d and um, 14 will be represented uh, 13 will be represented with the uh, d and 14 will be represented with e and 15 will be represented with f okay just like that so these all are the positional number system hope you have understood and i'll tell you the example of this like in case of this hexam and decimal number system we can mix uh, these digits like the example of uh, this number system can be like uh, uh, a then one nine okay so a represents to 10 and one nine means the simple digits which comes under the range of this okay so next example can be like f c 7 7 okay so f represents to 15 c represents to like uh, c represents to 12 and after that uh, you are saying 7 7 so 7 7 comes under the range of 0 to 9 so accordingly i'll tell you the conversion of this then after that uh, the uh, non positional number system so non positional number system does not use any kind of digit for the representation instead of that it uses the symbols for the representation that means what can be the example of non positional number system it is written uh, by mistake so you just remove that uh, basically the this non positional number system uh, is another type of uh, number system so uh, if we are talking about the non positional number system then the most common example of this non positional number system will be like roman number system because in case of roman number system we use some symbols okay so this is one example of non positional number system hope you have understood uh, so till then you just learn from it and after that i'll uh, solve some questions for um, by taking with this uh, number system okay so thank you everyone thank you so much